that I, um, I've always sort of had a knack for, for experimental science. It's a feeling that I have about both the questions that I want to try to answer that I think are important, as well as the way to go about doing that. And I once heard my, my postdoc advisor, Tom Check, another very wonderful, celebrated scientist, Nobel laureate, um, he once described me as somebody who had a map in her head of experiments that were to be done and could sort of see a whole process. And it was somehow when he said that about me that I kind of realized, gosh, I think he's right. That is how my mind works. You know, and I hadn't really thought about it before. But I think, think that w that is what I would say about me is that I, um, you know, I, I always have had kind of a, you know, a talent there of thinking about how I'm going to do experiments. And I still have it. You know, when I, when I meet with people in my lab, I find that even though, you know, sadly, I'm not in my lab anymore doing actual experiments, I'm still good at thinking about how to do those experiments, which ones are important to do, and how to set them up so that we get data that are going to tell us something meaningful.